Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. This is the penultimate level of Donkey Kong. This will be the second to last episode, then we'll obviously wrap up with the finale next time. But uh, first we got some rocket rails. This, um, this level, I tell you what, if I'm remembering it correctly, it kind of is the culmination of all the most horrible things in this entire game. So prepare yourselves for that. I'm gonna love it, you're gonna love it, it's gonna be wonderful. If you are loving it, please like the video, comment on it, and subscribe. I'd like to see those numbers getting pumped back up and more people watching. If you get a chance, tell your friends, your family, your teachers, your coaches, your rabbis, your preachers. Also, this is another um, kind of a K-themed level based on the aesthetic, but it has um, the same goofy world seven music which i don't really care for at all <laughs> it's pretty horrible and it just makes me angry so thanks for that game i really appreciate it but uh yeah this is the first of the oops this is the first of the final two levels i guess i should just say the final two levels nice amount of lives that uh they don't offer you any barrel so just to be mindful of that also once again the rules you gotta get everything in one try, so... Or, I mean... Rel oh boy. Relatively speaking, like, not one try, but, you know, the puzzle pieces as you collect them, you do get credit for them. So that's nice. Alright, I would like you to stop. Ma'am, sir, whoever you are, get out of here. Yes, this wonderful game is coming to a close. Oh, there's a puzzle piece, wasn't expecting that one at all. Whoa. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how that one counted, but I'm not going to complain. Yeah, we are almost done. There's an AB, uh... Oop. Oops! Yeah, this one has rocket and rails on it, so prepare yourselves. Yeah, we are almost done with this game. It's kind of wild. I, uh... I'm trying to think. You know, this will be the 32nd episode of this game. That means that this game was started... 33 weeks ago? 32 weeks ago? I mean, there might have been weeks where I uh, skipped one or so. So maybe it's like, you know, give or take a week or so. Kind of wild to think about. It's one of the things I was looking back on some of these Let's Plays, especially like the ones that are only once a week, is uh, how long it takes to do some of these games. It's kind of wild. But hopefully you all enjoyed. Oops. That's gonna get annoying. I keep forgetting that there's no checkpoints, so... But anyway, as I was trying to say... Fruitlessly, is, um... Some of these games, they just take a long time to do. This game in particular is kinda long. I didn't expect it to be. That's why this would probably have made more sense maybe as a, um... As, like, a main series instead of just a Saturday special. Which I don't know... I think I'm gonna replace this one with something that'll also be on Saturdays. I haven't 100% made up my mind, but... I think I already have a game that I've chosen that might be short, might not be short. I guess it really depends upon kind of my motivation to maybe be a completionist or not. I haven't figured out all the kind of ins and outs yet, so. All right, so there's that. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Jumped a little bit too early. Always be jumping a little later. A B J A R L L. Of course, classic. Yeah, this series, I remember when I was deciding to start, I was talking to some friends about this, and it just kind of came up on a whim. I was like, you know, what's a fun platformer? Because that's primarily what I've been playing on this channel, I think. Platformers and kind of adventure games. It's kind of my, my wheelhouse. I wouldn't say I'm good at them, but it is something that I'm the most familiar with. And this game just kind of came to mind, because I remember I really enjoyed it whenever... I played it on the Wii U. It was kind of a weird time of my life where, um, you know, I was just kind of, didn't really have a whole lot going on, so I just, I just played a lot of games. Oh, not again. Come on. Those big fish are killing me. I just played a lot of games. Had a lot more free time, obviously. Wasn't really gainfully employed at that point in my life, so my Wii U days were kind of special. I was able to really just kind of relax and play games, whereas like now, I, <laughs> I say that like, 
this is like like I'm being held at gunpoint. Like, all right, you're gonna play this game and you're gonna commentate on it. And if I don't like it, your family, I'm sending them, and sending them out to the farm up north. Can you just explode, please. Oh my gosh, that was not what I wanted. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's not what I meant. I'm basically getting at the fact that games back then, I had you know more free time. My motivations were a little different. I mean, you can have you don't really need motivation to play a game, I guess, but. Eh, maybe you do. Oh, this is getting fun. I was thinking about this level compared to the first and third, and I was like, you know what, this one's not the worst. Hold on, do I have any more? Yes, I do. Might as well use these, because you don't get to keep the banana coins, so. Um, I was just thinking that this one of the three wasn't really that bad, but I might be eating my words. Eating my words. That never happens, right? I never underestimate these levels in this game. But uh, yeah, it was a different time in my life where things were a little bit more carefree and kind of, you know, you could, you got less responsibilities, you can live by the seat of your pants a little bit more. Not quite in the present, that's not really what I'm dealing with. Got a lot more things on my plate. My current job is probably one of the most challenging I've had, so. Alright, let's try to... Oh my gosh, I jumped past it? Holy moly, this jump is ridiculous. Now I don't have a nice amount of lives anymore. So, you know, I guess I'm also the kind of person where like, as I get older and as I realize I have less free time, I don't know if anybody else can relate to this. Um, depending upon where you are in life, maybe you can. Um, ooh, that should have hit me. But it's a little tougher to find, oh, I'm dead. It's a little tougher to find motivation to play games. I obviously enjoy doing this because it's not just the game itself, but you know, I get to commentate, be goofy, and say dumb things on the internet, but you know, in general, it's a little tougher to find motivation to play. Like, you get done with work, let's do this for fun. That was completely unnecessary. But anyway, well, maybe it won't be. Maybe the extra heart will help. But, uh, you know, the stresses of life catch up to you as you get older, and I'm not trying to be all nihilist and, oh boy, a negative. But you just struggle a little bit to kind of have the enthusiasm and enjoyment of games like you used to potentially. I'm not speaking for everybody, this is me speaking for myself, but potentially those of you watching can relate. I know that, you know, I check the analytics of my channels and it seems like a decent amount of people that watch this are potentially in the ages of maybe having your first job or at least being a few years into a job. So I think you can understand that. That's kind of one of the downsides to work is like, hopefully you have a job that you do, you do enjoy. It's not just to pay the bills, but even still, you know, there's nothing saying that you check all the boxes. There's like that triangle of employment of having a good job, which is like making good money, um, liking what you do, and then liking your coworkers. So, here we go. Finally, jeez. Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> I should have just taken the fall. But point still stands, and you know, I feel like in most cases, having two of the three is pretty good. If you have all three, then you're just a rock star. But you know, it's kind of I guess cliche to complain about work when there's like bigger things going on in, in the world. But then again, we're all just kind of floating on this rock in outer space. I don't really feel like my job is bad, but you know, it always it always kind of stinks when you wind up dealing with a lot of stuff in your personal life, and then you have to. Uh, go to a job that maybe you like, maybe you like your coworkers, but maybe you don't like your, your boss, or you know, maybe you, you don't get paid enough, but your boss and your coworkers are great, something along those lines. It all just kind of depends on the cards you're dealt, and you know, it, it, it's wishful thinking to say, oh, we'll just like get a new job, right? Ugh. I would love to figure that jump out. I don't know if I'm hitting the button too soon or whatever it is, but it is busting my chops. Let's do this just Donkey Kong this time and see what happens. It's probably going to be a horrible decision. I would like to not have to buy more of uh, the Dixie Barrels if I can avoid it. Oops, that was horrible. But yeah, so life is kind of what you make it. Getting old kind of sucks um, sometimes. You have more freedom. That's obviously... Oops. Okay, definitely going to want to use Dixie. There's more freedom in life, which is nice. You have the ability to kind of go and do the things you want to do with your friends and you actually have, hopefully, your financial squared away to be able to do that. Whether you're, I mean, we've all got bills to pay, etc. But you know, hopefully you have enough disposable income that you can 
do kind of fun stuff with your buds on the weekends or weeky weekday evenings if you have a chance if you live close enough that's kind of my downfall is that unfortunately i don't live close enough to my friends to really make the most of that i still try to see them about once a week if i can but depending upon who it is but even still it, one of the things that i've noticed is it almost feels like having friends as, a, as an older adult you almost have to treat it kind of like a like a like a second job where you have to schedule time to be like hey uh, are you free on x day on the you know this time and like it's not as simple as just saying hey like do you want to go to the movies like you can't do that anymore unfortunately so all right okay quite here for a second and figure this out all right this is the furthest we've ever gone surprisingly there is a pool of water now i know that there is a rocket barrel component to this level and it is probably going to be the thing that makes me the most angry because i'm gonna have to Play through the majority of the, oh my gosh. Play through the majority of this level multiple times. Oh, you know what? I don't think I can actually dispatch this jerk. So I will just blast away. Okay, this one though. Okay, that was dumb. Yeah, it's like to be respectful of your friends and their schedules, like you almost have to personally Oh, I actually would like to get that. Let's be mindful of how to do this real quick. Oof, yeah. Uh, I think Dixie saved me on that one. But yeah, it's like you almost have to schedule appointments just to see people, which is kind of frustrating. But that is just kind of the way she goes sometimes, the way of the road. Oops. All right, and here's the worst part of the level, which I know I'm going to probably screw up. I know that in order to get the final puzzle piece, it's probably going to be connecting these bananas, maybe? Okay. That was not it. I was really close though, I mean, like, you gotta give me credit for, uh, being pretty good. I wasn't doing so bad. Okay, so, we will try this again. At least I don't have to worry about getting any of the other puzzle pieces, so I can just kind of chill. Yeah, hopefully this, uh, little mini rant, or not really a rant, it's more of just me kind of having, thinking out loud, um, wasn't taken negatively, because it wasn't meant to be, it's just a little bit of a, um, you know, just kind of one of those moments in life where you have a little bit of not an existential crisis. That would be a little extreme. I don't think I would say that I'm at that point, but um, you know, there's just moments where like you realize that things aren't quite as simple as they used to be, and you know, working is kind of part of adulthood. But it just feels like you spend so much of your time working, and you want it to be a positive experience, but you don't always get the pleasures of doing that. So. I would say, though, I am thankful that I do enjoy what I do, so I don't want to misconstrue that. I wish I could do this for a living. That'd be cool. Maybe someday I will. Maybe if this viewership keeps up and the channel grows enough, I'll be able to potentially make content for a living, stream for a living. Who knows? That'd be pretty fun. By the time I get around to it, though, Twitch will probably be dead and buried and just a, um, a former relic of the internets. Yeah, this is definitely one where having Dixie is... Oh, no. Ooh. That was a tactical uh, damage take. You're welcome for that. This is kind of ridiculous. I guess we don't really need Dixie for the Rocket Bell part. But those bananas were the owls were. That was... Bleh, bleh, bleh. Those look kind of suspicious. So. Ah, I missed it again. The biggest downfall of me in this game is... Lines of bananas. Who knew? The game did. Retro was like, you know what? We're gonna totally mess this guy up. In, uh... I don't know. I don't even remember when this game first came out. I don't honestly know if I did better at this game on the Wii U. Maybe I did. But that was also... I don't think I was trying so hard to be a completionist. So, I think I did... I did get all the, the Kong letters, because I do remember these levels, but I definitely didn't care about the puzzle pieces. That wasn't as much of a, an achievo for me. Not as much of an achievement as starting this new channel and building a following, which has been awesome. Really enjoyed that. You have these little moments, which it's kind of like its own existential crisis, where like you enjoy what you're doing, and making content is something that I've always enjoyed. Like I've been doing this on and off for a decade. And it's one of those things where, I don't know why I did that. It's one of those things where 
you know, there's people have different motivations for why they do what they do in life. You know, some people do it for the financial gain. Some people like the, I guess, the attention you get from making content and people following along. Um, some people just do it because they like to play games, and I guess that's kind of where I'm at. Is I just like to play the games. Obviously, getting noticed is nice, but that's more so kind of a give back situation for me where. You know, part of the reason why I like getting noticed isn't for, like, the notoriety itself. It's more of the recognition that you are all enjoying it, that I'm making content. I keep messing that up. But I'm making content that you all vibe with and you want more of. You know, it's a, it's a way for me to know what works and what doesn't work. All right, can you get these? Nope. <laughs> that was probably the worst attempt. Oh, goodness. Well, I told you these final episodes were going to live independently, and they certainly are. I don't feel like this one is getting into painful, need to cut away territory yet, but maybe we're getting there. I also have not eaten my, oops, I also have not eaten my dinner yet, so finishing this one and being able to eat would be nice. Before I go back into the horrors of work. Alright, these are my last five Dixies, so I'll make a deal. I will say if I can't finish the level in the last by the last one, or by the last, with one remaining, we'll say that, with one remaining, I will, uh, I will cut ahead, just to not bog this down anymore. I don't want this level to make a video that's extremely long. I remember when I first started playing this, I didn't really have a pacing in mind, and I thought that, like, a good 20 minute episode seemed fair, I still kind of feel that way. 20 minutes seems pretty chill, pretty cash. I know that the Mario series is a little a little longer, but that's kind of what I... I suppose you could say I would expect from like the mainline series, or like the headliner. Oh, you get a little bit more time on the center stage. Which is gonna be funny though. I will give you a little bit of a teaser. Um, the game that's going to replace Donkey Kong is actually going to be longer than the game that's going to replace Mario Galaxy. So it's more, the game that's gonna be replacing Galaxy is actually, I chose it because it's more uh, seasonally appropriate. I don't know if that's gonna ring any bells for any of you, but you'll figure it out when you see it at least. But um, yeah, the game that's gonna replace this one's an old classic, big fan of it. But like I said in another episode, I like to find new ways to showcase old things. So that's kind of my goal that hopefully you all will be able to enjoy. All right, let's do this. Oh, oof, okay. Can't believe that little fish really tripped me up that much. That one really messed me up. All right, so here we go. I need to be very mindful of the circle of owls once the rocket barrel section has begun. So hopefully we can do it. Under budget and on time. Having Dixie here though is an absolute boost, literally and figuratively. These stages. Ugh. I'm just never gonna figure that out. Maybe I don't need to. I don't know what's the best way to really approach this. I think I like I came in high. Come on. Oh, I almost had it. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. But I am looking forward to starting those new series. I think... So this is the second to last episode of Donkey Kong. So that means, logically, that Donkey Kong will conclude if this game is on a Saturday. This game will... Um, it will conclude, I believe, the first week of September-ish. Based on... Consistency unless I fall off the face of the earth and then I don't know, but for now that's kind of the expectation And maybe I'll have some fun with the final episode to give you guys a little bit of a teaser into What the next game will be and I'm not sure if I'll go right back into Making Saturday games or if I'll like take a little bit of a break and then pop into it So with the new series maybe I'll have them start around the same time Just for, for fun or not. I don't know I haven't decided yet. All kinds of potential. Okay. So if I can't, like I said, if I can't get it between the next two Dixies, 
Um, I'm just gonna cut away. And I might honestly just try to do that after this attempt anyway. But I would like to get this done sometime this year. We still have to go attempt to buy toys. Still never gonna... <laughs> I'm never gonna figure that out. My hands are getting sweaty, my knees weak, mom's spaghetti. So there it is. Come on. Ah! Almost. Okay. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. That's the final puzzle piece with the Nanners. That was pretty epic. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to die there though, but I do have all of them. I don't have any more Dixies though, so... Now I have the challenge of trying to get to, uh... Get to that area without her, so let's see if I can pull this off. It's kind of a mess, unfortunately. Damn, yeah, this dumb owl. Yeah, I gotta kinda be careful and like, approach this in a different way now because I don't have the, uh the luxury of Dixie, so this does make things a little bit uh, more complicated. Gotta be putting my good platform and hat on and get this done. Are you kidding me? Hey yeah. All right. I don't know if the rest of this really necessitates Dixie, so I mean the, the section after this with like the falling rocks, having her around is obviously a big benefit, but we're just gonna ABD the whole time. Hopefully we can make it there unabated. Okay. Jump over, Mr. Prickly Boy. Alright, this is where things get a little... Yeah. So, just need to be careful here. I only have the three lives instead of the six. There. Oof. Three lives instead of the six. Gotta preemptively shoot. Okay. Not enough to do. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. <laughs> oh boy. I think what I might do actually is just to, you know, preserve it. I cut away to show a final puzzle piece and then I can't even finish the run. Um, to preserve it, I think I might use, uh, I might add in Cranky. Use one of my Cranky barrels. Just to give myself the extra hit points. That seems like a smart idea. Wish I would have thought about it about a minute ago, but... Okay. Here we go. Hopefully this is the final attempt. If it is, you won't see any more after this. Amazing how that works. Okay. We are all just having so much fun with this second to last level. It's a blast. All right. A barrel of rockets, you might say. Okay. All right, let's be safe here and go ahead and whip out our big Cranky Kong. Just for the bonus. It's honestly kind of the, I mean, Oh no. No! <laughs> I should have just taken the damage. Oh boy. What have I done? I got so excited thinking that I was going to be able to finish it when I did that, uh, that final banana pull. I was like, yes, I'm going to do it, and then I did it. That's, uh, my hubris. Oh no. No! <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna cut ahead to the end. Okay, viewers, we have finished the rocket barrel section. I don't know what is left, but I am scared. This looks horrible. With all these ethereal floating fish kind of in the area and no companion to help myself, this is probably going to be horrible. Oh boy, I don't like this at all. Hopefully I can do it. 
Okay. This is really bad. Okay. I think I can grab these on the upswing, maybe. Alright, this is a, a grippable platform, at least. This looks like this is danger. Can you turn around? Okay. Blast barrel. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, is it supposed to roll jump to it? Oh boy. Okay. Ugh, this is horrible. Alright. And... I think that's it! Oh boy. Wow, what a finale. Yikes. That's a crazy ending. On my first try, though. You're welcome. Whew. Okay. Well, we did it. 7-2. Completed. The penultimate level. One more left, viewers. Until the finale. But first, toys! So let's... As we do... I don't honestly know... What's the fastest one to get to Funkies, but yeah, you know, let's just explore where we've come from. It's been a long, hard, thick journey. It's been amazing. Which hopefully, if you have been enjoying this, you've been liking the videos, you've been commenting on them, and subscribe if you haven't. It's for your health. All right, let's do ten. Okay. Okay. Great. Ooh, that's one. Is the final boss named Frederick? Is that what it said? I got two? I'm actually doing really really well in these final uh <laughs> in this final world. Okay. And to save myself for the next time, I'll buy myself 15 Dixies. And exit the shop. The waves around here are radical only because of me doing all this work. So let's go ahead and scroll all the way back to the secret seclusion, where the next time, if you've liked, commented, subscribed, you'll get to see it. No, I'm just kidding. You'll get to see it anyway. But anyway, we'll take on the final level, and it will be the final episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze 7-3 crazy, crazy Clouds. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike, and I'll see you next time. Bye.